Okay, so I'm here with Tony Christensen. I'm here with Raymond from uh, Latvia. Yeah. He's a very, very fucking strong arm wrestler and young, full of potential. Big respect for him. We came here, Denmark, you know what Denmark is. It's uh, like this little country in Northern Europe. We are about 50 arm wrestlers. We came here uh, for us to Latvia Riga to train with the best of the best in Riga and Latvia. And we are here at the training session. We have been here for two days now. Yeah. And we have gained a lot of experience due to arm wrestle, proper what works good for me, what could work good for Lila, what works good for Jonas, everything. This guy has to his thanks for, for all of it. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, so you traveled here to get experience. Yes. So on the first day we just arm wrestle, worked on table. Today we tried to train, but uh, your arms were pretty trash from yesterday. Yeah. So uh, like uh, you, you see how you guys do it, you see how we do it, and uh, what what's the big difference? The big difference is you train. Like you told me, very good experience. Like you train to win all the time at the table in the offensive position, not the defensive. Always train to win, not just to catch and work from there. That's a huge one. I, I learned a lot from that. While training for try to lose, defense for losing, try to train to win. Yeah, big yeah. Uh, big difference in yeah in uh, in, in training. So, uh, how is your training uh, schedule? Let's say. Oh, in Denmark we train uh, arm wrestling two times a week, and I train a lot of. Uh, also, I can maybe teach you something. Uh, blood flow resistance training, where you have a band, rubber bands around yeah, your arm. Yeah, I know. No, yeah? yeah, it's very efficient. Occlusion training. Occlusion training. Yes, I have trained that for about two years now. Okay, yeah. a lot of strength in yeah. my in my forearm. Because uh, I have seen with occlusion training, people thought that it's going to help with hypertrophy, so it's going to get you bigger muscles, but actually what results show that you actually get stronger. Yeah. So I know that works. Yeah. We know that works and it's very good for recovery. Yeah. You get a lot of blood in your tendons. Yeah. So but it's very fucking painful. <laughs> yeah. A lot of amino, a lot of acid, lactic acid in, in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in like if you stain like 7 kilos, 20 reps and go for 5 kilos and the 1 kilos, it's going to feel extremely hard. Oh. Yeah. So uh, that's what I gained from this training, from the occlusion training, but that doesn't give you a good arm wrestling strength. Yeah. You need to train arm wrestling training yeah. to get strong in arm wrestling. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you think you can go now home and implement some of these things that we are yeah. doing in your training? Because like the channel I made to help people better understand the angles we're working yeah. on, yeah. all those things. Because like you talked with Jans, you talked with me, and we are very specific about our training mm -hmm. and a lot, a lot of times guys are just like showing like strong guys are showing their best exercise yeah. and it will necessarily be the best exercise mm -hmm. for our son. yeah yeah exactly yeah. and what i learned about this is to to be strong I, I thought i was strong in certain points but then you gave me a new angle to attack i said what the fuck do i have any muscle there yeah. no whatsoever yeah. and uh, that's why I do a lot of different training Include a lot of the fat grips training, very good, like holding flat handed like this, yeah. pull down in awkward positions, yeah. and just just do also arm wrestling practice. That's why you get good at arm wrestling, but also include all this with you have the flat wrist like fingers here yeah, and and work. Every, everything goes through here, so yeah. everything goes through here. And this guy is fucking strong. I thought I was, uh, I thought I was the shit, but uh, I'm. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I've been in the arm wars, I've been at the WL as a, uh, what do you call it, a monkey show, like, uh, yeah, give me a good, yeah, it's a position yeah. show, like, give me a good fight and so on, but, yeah, of course, I got a lot more to learn, of course, we are a little, fucking small Denmark, and we have uh, not so many strong opponents, so it's difficult to get stronger, you need to travel, you need to yes, train with the best. That's the big part, yeah. To get stronger. Travel, go to different competitions, yes. go to different, different gyms, learn. But it's always like, uh, when we go out and we, uh, I seek information that I want for arms, and I will not necessarily look at the strongest arm wrestler, I will look at the best team. Mm -hmm. If you have really good team, solid team, and guys are going and taking good places compared to others, you know there's a system that works. because. Every country can have one superstar athlete mm -hmm. that's just freak, genetic freak, or yeah. just uh, he's 
he, he knows his body and he's much better. So uh, it's good that you came here. I hope I, I helped you with, with a lot of things and I hope uh, it, it, we didn't have that much time. We just spent about a few hours in training. I think we can do a lot more if you have an opportunity. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll have to have you back more. We can do a whole week of it and, and, yeah. and train and, and uh, Periodize and, and think mm -hmm. about those. And see how uh, the development is going. Like, we come here for the next uh, six months and see, oh my god, are you the same Tony Christmas? What the fuck? Yeah. You're just <laughs> learning how you guys are those nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I, was, I, was, I was a bit scared when you guys came because we, we talked about this about two three months ago. Me? I'm good as well. <laughs> we, we, we talked about three months ago that you're going to come and, and the week fall in right after uh, USA trip. Yeah, yeah. And then I was in Norway and in Norway, so two days ago, I tried to arm myself, I wanted to arm myself a little bit with fraud, and I'm like, no, 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 I, I cannot pull at all. Yeah. But my arms felt a little better yesterday, but yeah. I still couldn't finish some positions I could hold. But, um, but I'll, I'm also a, a, a no far compared to a young and strong, you know. I'm 42 years old, yes. I mean, also in the master class, so uh, I will go to the world championship in uh, Romania. And see how it goes. Um, still, um, so that, that what's what's the plan for future for Denmark Armistice? Are you you like you you have you like I think all the countries need at least one two good trainers. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's always better if someone who has uh, knowledge in sports comes to Armistice. Yeah. The plan is for Denmark that we have just joined the Danish Wrestling Federation, so we get approval at the highest sports level. Our goal is to have handicapped people and young people to progress to be good arm wrestlers that we have focus on every major city in the Denmark, like small Denmark, uh, five million citizen, to develop and become too. Yeah, became, uh, interested in, in arm wrestling and develop from there and say it's and take them to the best, some of the best, uh, to learn from the best. I'm 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 pretty good in. I'm wrestling technique and training, but a, a, a lack of power because due to weakness and so on. I'm getting old and so on. And um, that's the main goal from Denmark and become, I'm sorry to say, but we are WAF uh, supporters and we uh, we are still going to be the end in, in the federation because, well, I'm wrestling federation has also tr always treated Denmark fairly and righteous and, and good and we need to have the membership of WAF to get the highest acknowledgement from the recognition from the, the government and the, the big sports. It's totally yeah. understandable. Yeah. Totally and I'll just like to say that we all should train clean, no cheating. For clean sport. Yes. Clean sport is what Denmark is working for. Very hard for. We we we, we are hundred percent for that because yeah. like in Latvia we have like Every competition we will have, we will have doping tests. Yes. Any any small competition, any big competition, we will have doping tests for our athletes. So uh, clean sport, I support you. What I would say, that. if I want to get world champion one day, <laughs> cross your fingers. I would like to stand in front of a mirror and says, "I'm clean. I'm world champion and train clean." Main 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 thing for me. Yeah, I, I see you're very passionate about yes, it. Yes, yes. I have seen it on Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm very, very yeah. dedicated on so, team sport. You have been how long in arms? Oh, I started 2006 at the World Championship in Manchester. Make a documentary, uh, The Lone Star. I get that name from Travis Bacon because I was the only one from Denmark competing. Yeah. So that's why I got the name The Lone Star. I think the world should be focusing us much more to make arm wrestling available for everybody, handicapped, Paralympics and young people to develop from there because they are the future and the more knowledge each country have the more they have to give away like I've learned about 30% 30, 30 more than I already know but from coming here these two days for what my gain is art how to gain strength I gained that from here yeah uh, like Olympic dream I know it's a, it's so far away in my opinion just because so like arm wrestling is, is this sport, it's somewhat combat sport, so um, I, super super matches are very enjoyable, people love to watch them, but of course I believe it's a sport before it is a show. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Europe we, we treat it more as a sport, in USA it's more of a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 
I think it more depends on government support. Mm -hmm. If government is, is uh, giving you money to send teams to training camps there and there, then it becomes a sport. Yeah. Until then, it will be a show. So we need that, guys. We need that uh, Olympic recognition in yeah. all the countries. Yeah. So then we can get the, that Olympic dream in the future. Ultimately, care is about arms. Yes, we, we love. Want, we want to compete. We want to compete with the best of the best in the world. Yeah. We we want to have the recognition, and that's what we care ultimately. And I also say, if you saw Yanis's fight in uh, WL against Tom Holland, he's very polite. He's very down to earth. Like, come on, guys, we love arm wrestling. Support arm wrestling and support Latvia. We just train and be neutral. Like, like not natural, you know. Yeah. yeah How I can like you not love that guy? Exactly. Yeah. He's so <laughs> calm to earth, but he's strong. Rock fucking. Sorry, my friends. <laughs> he's so strong. I mean, what he can do, like 70 kilos in the pool, uh, I can do like uh, 25 or something. It's nothing about gaining weight. It's about gaining strength. Be mean and lean. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm too, too fat and too uh, mean. Like, it's uh, I have to be lean and then be more mean. But it's kind, you know. Yeah. Kind of. Honestly, thing is, is, it's everyone is maybe. Sometimes we look outside of the sport, and uh, they will say like he's a he's a dick on table, or he's in like you know yeah. he's a, he, he doesn't look like a nice guy. Everyone is extremely nice. Mm. I haven't met really one yeah, exactly. like really angry or or, or bad person in office. Uh, Georgia, Georgia on table like ah! all the time. Yeah. Come on, come to it, man. Yeah, that's the only country country I ever saw looked who was just fucking control. Yeah, but but everyone's it's just peaceful and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the yeah, people is, yeah, yeah, is yeah, nice. So. Well. And you go everywhere in the armrest community. Your friends all over yeah, the world yeah. say, "I'm coming to Austria." Yeah, yeah. We have drink, drink, drink. Yeah, take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. Say, come to Denmark, we take care of you. Of course, yes. Yeah. It's not much we can learn to you, but about the country and the Vikings. You know, yeah. history. Yeah. We want war, and yeah. but uh, we are nice. We are nice in Denmark. You know, Denmark. A small country, find it if you can on the Europe map. But we are nice, we are nice, and we have a big, uh, big team developing. And uh, yeah, we're just nice. I think so. so. Don't you think so? so Denmark is where Mindaugas lives now, yeah? Yeah, Mindahu. <laughs> Mindahu. You mean that uh, small bitchet uh, Mindaugas? No, I think the tall. Oh, yeah, the tall, skinny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he yeah. lives in, in Denmark now. I yeah. Think. Well, he's not resident, but he's no. fine for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would be great if you have Mindaugas on the team yeah. and Danish. Uh, are you up for it? <laughs> <laughs> leave a comment if you're up for it. Yeah, leave a comment. Thank you, Tommy, for yeah. coming here. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Next, next time, maybe we'll come to you yeah, and uh, see you. do some bigger, training. Bigger, bigger. I'm saying welcome to Denmark all the time. Just yeah. contact and go into my website, armbroning.dk. Yeah. If you yes. send it, I will put it in yes, the description. Yes, yes, also. Yeah. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye.